Kenny Allen Jones reporting for the Vortex. Uh, this has been some incredible whistleblower testimony that's been reported on, uh, which may lend to more insiders coming forward. But uh, being that the American public is already somewhat distrusting of its own government, uh, in your view, what may be potential avenues towards producing or in some way demonstrating possession of these alleged retrieved non-human technologies and materials or bodies to help raise the standard of awareness about the issue in society rather than simply taking their word for it? Well, uh, okay, the, I think what's getting ready to happen is that, that Dave, Dave Grush and, uh, and Carl Hell and some of the, you know, uh, 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 Chris Mellon, the people that were quoted in the article today and granted interviews for the, for the article uh, are actively engaged in, in lifting people up and pushing them toward uh, the Aero staff to get them to interview them. Uh, and what you're discovering is that if the Aero staff isn't active enough and responsive enough, that these people are inclined, not these people, but the witnesses are inclined to go around them. A part of it, I think, is that Kirkpatrick himself undermined his cause with yes. his hearing. I mean, he just seemed utterly bored and disinterested by the whole subject, explicitly saying, yeah, it's in my interest to give this to someone else and make it their problem. He actually said that. Well, he said it, it, was, it was interesting. He said it was- And downplaying the whole it, anomalous well, nature well, of the well, whole thing. It, it was an interesting point he said. He said is that, that we have uh, UAPs that are unidentified uh, anomalous phenomena. We have other things that are temporarily unidentified, <laughs> which can be identified. Uh, but if we find something that is specifically confirmed to be man-made or a natural phenomenon, that becomes an SEP, someone else's problem. Uh, and, and so, but if you think about it carefully, that he's talking about reserving to the, the office things that are not natural or not man-made. He didn't um, give an idea that he wanted any of those no, cases. No, no, he, 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 doesn't, he doesn't give the impression of being- And, a, and so it wouldn't have inspired confidence in that, whistleblowers as that, well. That, that's exactly right. And, and as, as Chris said, uh, Mellon said in the article this morning, he said, you know, rightly or wrongly, a significant number of these whistleblowers who have this information uh, don't trust the leadership of Arrow, which would be specifically Sean Kirkpatrick. Uh, and so that they're, they're going, what we need to do as a community, we need to put as much pressure as possible on Sean Kirkpatrick and the staff people at Arrow to show that if the people aren't trusting you, you better go out of your way uh, to demonstrate that you're forward leaning and really trying to get this information. I'm not sure that they're ever going to be willing to do it the way it's going to satisfy us. I'm not sure that, uh, that we're going to let them up on this. Uh, but it may become necessary for people to demand that others, other people put, be put in charge of this. You know, to take some of the people, for example, who are involved in pushing to get the stuff exposed and put them in charge of the operation so that we know there are people there who really genuinely want to know. Uh, well, he's he's a, a loyal DOD man. I mean, yes. his whole career is that, and I suspect that's why he got where he was. That's right. So, so, so the, bottom, the bottom line is, is that we need, we need to mobilize a, a much more energized uh, community to demand that this information be revealed. And that's why I want us all to participate in figuring out what some of these questions are so that we can start identifying these questions and putting them out to the people now that they know this is true, that they can feel empowered and authorized to ask these questions and have conversations among ourselves and instigate these, these, uh, these discussions. This is an extraordinarily interesting set of subjects, okay? And so that's, that's one of the things that we're gonna be doing at the Romero Institute uh, through our new paradigm uh, project there. And we're asking for your support. Uh, and you know you can send nickels and dimes uh, to us and uh, help pay for, for staff people. You know, that we're, we're actually contemplating hiring some of these people who are the whistleblowers uh, who would be able to be the kind of people who know the other whistleblowers and can go and get them. Uh, you know, that, that we're, we've done this in the past and we've shown that we are able to do things that some other groups haven't really quite been able to do. And so we want to uh, earn uh, your trust 
uh, in the trust of the people that are wanting to come forward uh, so that they will come to the Romero Institute and to our new paradigm uh, project and we can then bring them to the Congress, bring them to the Arrow community, bring them to the media if, they, if the others don't respond. That's some of the stuff that we're going to be doing in addition to trying to craft a new paradigm worldview that actually integrates this information into a, a system of thinking that our human family uh, will remain valued uh, in our galaxy uh, and not be treated like some primitive island uh, tribe that discovers in 1955 that there's a world out there that they haven't known about uh, and within weeks their whole culture collapses because they've been so completely parochial and out of tune with the exterior reality around them uh, that they realize that, that they've been so out of tune with reality that their culture is not worth saving. So we, we, can't, we can't let that happen to us. So we're going to have to lean into this a lot uh, and do, uh, do a lot more work on uh, identifying and answering these questions.